What up, guys? It's your girl, Manamix. I am back. Hold on, hold on. With The Haunting of Bly Manor, I thoroughly enjoyed The Haunting of Hill House, and I wish I was able to record those reactions for you, but I was not. But here we are with The Haunting of Bly Manor. If you're enjoying any content on my channel, gameplays, reviews, reactions, whatever I got going on, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together. And down below in the description box, I've got my affiliate links for Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and Entertainment Earth. It's where I get all of my geeky gamer apparel, house, accessories, all that stuff from, and my Funko Pops. So if you want to support the channel, you go ahead and use the links down below to shop around. Um, a portion of it does go to me if you decide to use the links. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, thank you so much. It really does help me out. And guess what, you guys? So, <clears throat> hold on. Oh, shit, I'm not prepared. I'm sorry, I'm not prepared. <clears throat> I was watching the boys, so I was trying to, like, blitz through this. And that's a lot of liquor in there. I just put a lot of liquor in there. I'm gonna put some Pepsi in there. Even that shit out. But, um, I usually have a beverage with things that I know are going to be... with things that I know are going to be a tad bit scary because it helps calm my nerves. Um, as much as I enjoy watching horror and thrill, like horror slash thriller suspense type shows, y'all, I'm gonna be up all night. So, um, Haunting of Hill House was great. All the emotional beats. And I'm ready to get wrapped into a new story. I can't remember which one this is. I said Taming of the Shrew last time, but that's a comedy, so that's not it. I can't remember which one it is. And I'm not going to look it up because I'm lazy. But um, I did hear not mixed reviews, but it just takes a little bit for it to get going. And I'm okay with that. I enjoy a very good story that sucks me in and I'm invested all the way through. Um, without anything else, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into season one, episode one of The Haunting of Bly Manor, The Great Good Place. Oh, I'm scared. He said his head was crushed in from where her horse had kicked him. Ghost stories are worse when there's a kid. Adds a little something. Are you about to tell a story, ma'am? I have a story. Damn, really? Well, it isn't really my story. And if a child gives the effect another turn of the screw, what do you say to two? Is she playing a younger her? Because I can see that. The teacher was, by choice, a solitary young woman. Come up to London in trepidation to answer in person an advertisement. Advertisement? Placed by one Lord Henry Wingrave. A great good place, alone in the country. Oh, let's not do that. I understand. You know, one of my more unique assignments at my school was specific to some of our highest need children, one of whom had actually lost their parents. What's so the I have... catch? Brock, can I fucking finish speaking? I'm sorry. Makes a woman of your age want to give up her life to take care of someone else's Do I need a job? Like, what, is, what, 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 what do you want? America, that. Full time as well. Seems odd to me, to be frank. Um... Hmm. Hit him, girl. Seems odd to me, too. The listing, I mean. So I suppose you're right. What is the catch? Mm. That really is the question. Boop! That's what you get. Thank you. How did they get a hold of you? Oh. I know I didn't get the job. And that's totally cool. But that was the most awkward job interview of my entire life. So, I think we should toast to it, Mr. Wingrave. Bitch, that was awkward. Or do you yeah. prefer it in your tea? I'm honestly so, so curious. About what? The job. What the fuck's going Catch. on? <laughs> And then she disappeared. Well, I, I suppose she died. So it's her own fault, to be blunt. Oh. Her choice, to be blunter. I understand that. I know what loss is. 
This is a good conversation. I'm not running from anything. And it hurts me when you say that. You know it hurts the me. The mirror when you is say covered. That. Pourquoi? Why does she cover the mirror? Oh, that's why. So is he the groundskeeper? Yep. Like I said, plenty to love. Holy crap. Can I get out and walk the rest of the way? Who is walking? Girl, I don't want to do that. And do you know there are leeches in there? Whole little things like vampire slugs and the oh nastiest God. beetles. It really is. What it, but why is that? But, why is that? Why is that? Miles! Why is that? Hi, Miles. So pleased to meet you, my lady. Miles, where are you going, sir? Gentlemen. And this must be Mrs. Gross. Oh my gosh. That's the skin. A uh, great good place. How do they do the accents so and it yawned well open to welcome her home? And it's funny, I think everyone else is made to have an accent. And doesn't Victoria this is Peretti actually have an accent? Perfectly splendid. I can't remember. It's she might not. Come along. This oh, is the kitchen. Come along. It's perfectly splendid. This is the classroom. It's Perfectly splendid. Quite boring. These are the <laughs> oh, not perfectly splendid. But you mustn't run on them. If you fall, you can injure yourself, and the stairs are not forgiving. Is this her room? Because this is beautiful. To freshen up. Of course. But then we must show her the statue garden. She'll see it all eventually, Flora. Bitch, what? Oh, I'm sorry. May I come in? No. Yes. Of course. Little boy. Perhaps not. Little boy. Uh, oh, these kids are st creepiest of the kids. Girl, what? Bitch, no. What? We're not talking about mirrors right now. It really now. is very silly, isn't it? <laughs> Miles gave it to me. He shouldn't have done that. Why not? Because it doesn't belong to you. Who does it belong to? Who does it belong to? Miss Jessel. I was wrong. It's actually fine. Can I get out now? Can I play with my dolls? Yeah, 15 no. minutes, okay? And no. What is it? It's clearly something from her past that's bothering her. But you're so, so glad you're here. And so am I. Oh, thank you for making me feel so welcome. What is the view? I don't like it. Is she walking Bedtime. her across the... And I'm finished. <laughs> Perfect timing. You, miss, have a lot of dolls. And we are going to learn how to pick Bitch. them all up before we go to sleep, okay? Put her back. She stays there. Um, what's a... I don't think I can promise that. But it's certainly a good rule for you and your brother But to... you must. Okay. At least um, for tonight. Stop fucking Now get some sleep. The rooms were larger at night, as though the house itself had inhaled deeply as the sun disappeared, expanding as it held its breath for the morning. I'm taking NyQuil. Is she the au pair? No, she's not. An about emptiness that called out to be explained. Ma'am, can you not? T I'm not getting. I'm not doing this in a place. That no. Or no. When I tell y'all no, I'm literally clicking over here because I'm saying no to this. No to this entire situation. No. Oh, that shit scared me. I'm like, bitch, what kind of what kind of noise? What? No. Who walks around in a house like that with no slippers? 
No. Uh-uh. 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 Was that something behind her? <laughs> Was that a shelf? Oh, hell no. I thought that- no. What a beautiful day. What's the matter? I'm very cross with you. Miss Clayton! You left your room? You left your room last night, even though you promised you wouldn't. That- why? Who- ch what? I'm gonna call him Luke, but I know he's not Luke in this, but Luke, what are you doing? <laughs> Quit staring at your sister like that. That's weird. That's all I want to say, but I know that's not Luke. He does creepy very well. And he's gone? He walk fast? Well, you're not gonna eat anything? Oh, no, I already ate. Just here for the company. You must try this. Laura, don't. <sighs> First of all, why is she not eating anything? Does she not eat in this house? Or... Is she, like, on a fast? Are you in the old wing? Why are you doing that? Child, that's being fucking nosy. Girl, I don't have time for this. Because the light's on? Like, I'm squinting so hard. I w Why are you carrying that thing? I have so many questions. Ma'am, can you not run up and stuff? Can you just not bother things? Can you... And that's enough bad love for any two children to be able then to think what came after. Girl, what came after? Oh, Mr. what happened? Yeah. Rebecca. You know we skipped town. We're tied to some of Henry's money and the poor thing's heart. Stole a lot of that money. Wow. Things. And to see her in the days leading up to it. But in the weeks after Miss Jessel there. Silence they didn't do it anymore. Felt so terrible. But now. Now when I hear them cry or scream or yell. God, it's the most beautiful sound in the world. I'm so sorry. No. Child, she is killing me with the emotion right now. Right. Oh, God, look at me. <sighs> But there are four candles, right? Two for the parents, one for the o the old au pair, and what's the other one for? You really are, you know. I'm what? Perfectly splendid. <sighs> Good night, sweet girl. Um, that in the corner I don't like. If it goes back there and it's not there anymore, it's a problem. I keep oh. looking for hidden ghosts because I know how this... I'm sorry. You know, you need to make sure that you pick these up. I would hate to break. Oh, well, sure thing. Well, These kids is creeping me the fuck out. Know. Like, what did y'all talk about? She can sleep with you tonight. I don't want that. Okay, let's look. Hmm. I don't see it. You must be under some clothes. Are they gonna close her ass in there? Open the door. Miles? Bro, what? <laughs> Child, I don't have time for this. Fuck these kids. Bro, y'all just gonna leave her ass in the closet? Where the fuck these kids at? These kids getting beat. <laughs> fuck out of here with these kids. Child, I'm fucking your kids up. Nah, bitch. Bed. I am sorry. Please send me. That way. And that way. And that way. In the morning. 
Hashtag don't have time. Um, question. Is that a, is that a, you can't see what I'm pointing at, but I'm going to try to hot. Is that a, is that a thing right there with the, with the nose? Nah, bitch. I seen that. Don't let it move. Victoria, honey. Are you outside? No. Or no? Okay. I'm definitely not following the footprints. I'm definitely taking my ass in my room and, and closing the door. That thing right there. No. Uh-uh. Y'all can't see what I'm pointing at. Ho hopefully I'm smart enough that I will highlight that shit. What is that? Why is that? Ain't y'all supposed to be in bed? What the fact y'all looking at? Go the fuck to sleep. Samuel Jackson style. Go to sleep. No, what is that thing? No, we need to have a conversation. What is that thing? No, 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 and no, and no, and no, and no, and no, and no. What is that thing? We're not doing that. That's the next episode. What is that thing? Okay, what is that thing? Why is that thing? How is that thing? Okay, the moment they showed it in that little, when she was walking by and it turned the profile, you could see the beak in the nose. I've been looking for the beak in the nose. I've seen that thing twice and I'm pretty sure it appeared more, but I didn't really know where to look. That son of a bitch was in the background. No, 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 no. Fuck these kids, okay? We don't play games like that, all right? That's, games like that get you thrown out of a window. No. No. So the first episode is a very... I enjoy the story that it's getting ready to tell me. Excuse me, I had to burp. Sorry about that. Had a brief internude in the mood. <sighs> okay, so. Scratching my hand. I, I like the story it's trying to tell me. I like the atmosphere. It's so delightfully creepy. And this is the, and this is why it's hard for me to watch actors in different things because I'm like, oh, look, Nellie's talking to her dad. And look at Luke on the balcony. Look at y'all over there doing things. Your mom's telling the story. Look at that. So I have to, work at disassociating these actors with what they did before but i'm thinking that carla in the beginning is older um what's her name older danny that's what i'm thinking because we don't have any name and and the hair color because you know when um blonde people get older their hair turns a ashy blonde before going like a white or gray color and i think that's where she is so i want to say that is danny so when she says the story is not her own she is telling retelling the story that she is seeing while she is living at the house um we don't know who the story involves yet we do know that there are kids and these kids are creepy af okay they're cute splendid it wasn't splendidly wonderfully splendidly splendidly delightful they're cute this little girl's adorable the boy is adorable but they can turn the creep on like real quick and just these little bitty talismans that she has all over the house it's oh man like i really want to know what the hell happened like what happened to their parents what happened it was an accident overseas i need more information what happened to um I can't remember her name. Sorry, Jesse, Jessica. It's, it's not Jessica. Jessil, Jessil, J E S S I L. I think is her name. What happened to the the previous au pair? Who was that dude on the balcony? You know what I'm saying? Why are there talismans everywhere? Why does she ask her not to come out of the the room at night? Why did the water start leaking? Like why did the faucet start leaking and then go away when she went back upstairs? So many questions, no answers, and not to mention. Who is she? Is she the housekeeper? Miss, is it Miss Gross or Miss Grove? I can't remember her name. 
Um, but is she the housekeeper? Um, and why isn't she eating anything? She doesn't eat anything. Is she fasting? Like, I, I, like, ma'am, everybody else is eating. And she's like, oh, thank you for the food. I'm gonna take this plate. I mean, honestly, here's the thing. In my family, we don't eat food from people we don't know. If I don't trust you implicitly and know that you're clean in the kitchen and know how you hold a house and know how you prepare your food, I'm not eating it. Okay, I just don't trust it because some people be having animals on the counter. Some people be licking and stuff, putting their fingers in it. And I just don't want to be a part of that. Okay, if I'm cooking for me, I will taste everything. If I'm cooking for other people, I don't do that. So, um, I don't eat anything. So when she wasn't eating the foods, I'm like, why though? Why though? But that thing in the background, uh-uh. No, I'm gonna try to remember to circle what I saw, but no. And this director is notorious for putting things in the background. Whew, child. And those dolls, they're so creepy. And why is she seeing that thing in the mirror? I, I know the thing in the mirror is something that's haunting her from her past. Somebody had died or something, or she thought she was the father to death or something like that. But I need to know these things because I don't like them. Okay? I don't like it. Cheese me don't like it. I don't like it. Okay? So, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Hmm, I wonder where I watch the second one.